All right. Hey. Yo, what's happening? Everybody's here? Everybody's oh. here. Oh, everybody's here. That's all. Oh, hey, guys. I didn't mm. even know they were here. I didn't know they were here. Intruders. Now, listen. <laughs> so the reason why I have them here, I think you guys know I've been talking about it a little bit. We are headed back out to the hut location, super top secret location. NASA doesn't even know where it is. Okay. Nobody. So we're going to head out there. The Burks, as you can see, Walter and Patty, hung their recorders in an area out there somewhere. And we're going to see if we get anything. And if we get something, we get something. If we don't, we don't. We're going to give you what we got. I mean, if not, we'll have a podcast and talk about Bigfoot. <laughs> Just the way it is. But that's the legitimate way to do it. That's how we're going to do it. So I got uh, uh, Steve Wojo with me. As you guys know, he's becoming part of my team. Uh, he's what? Two investigations in, Steve? That's correct. Two investigations. Yeah. And uh, well, how do you like it so far, brother? I want more. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I yeah, want I more. It's like a geocache trip, but with something special on the end. You know what I mean? Where you don't get the little micro geocache thing and sign your little name on it. You ever do that? Me and my family used to do that all the time. We had the apps and everything for geocaching, right? This is like Bigfoot caching, you know? Oh, big there, you want to look for this or that or find things that, you know, maybe you can't explain, you know? And uh, this area here, I think Patty was just hitting on it, was it's just, it, it's got a feel about it. It's an awesome area. Um it's just a nice area. Sometimes you get out in the woods. If you don't get out in the woods enough, you might not feel that. But get your ass out in the woods, look around you, and just see, like I said, every time to you. See what you can explain, see what you can't explain. Have fun with it. It's no big deal. That's you it. might come you might come to the realization, right? Right, Wally Daly? That's it. <laughs> yeah. How are you? You excited for you excited for tomorrow? I'm thrilled. I can't wait. I, I'm so super stoked, man. So, so me, me and Steve, we live about a couple hours away. Say, right? Not, yeah. to, give away, yep. not to give away too much. Um, so we're we're gonna get up at the, the crack of dawn, basically, and head up and over and up again. And we're gonna go there, meet my friend the Burks that you guys have all met before. And we're gonna head out to this location where we found those cool pictures that I put up. Um, we're gonna do a show on Tuesday about it. We're gonna actually go over those pictures a little bit more with them. Um, I think they're worth a conversation on a regular basis. We have some theories and some ideas, perhaps why they're here, what they are. Um, and we're going to share that with you on Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, Banter with Richie B. Uh, check out my TikTok, Banter with Richie B. Instagram, Banter with Richie B. Facebook, Banter with Richie B. And don't forget the RichieB.com website, forward slash shop. I got some cool stuff on there. Walter saw a cup on there today, and he said, nice cup. That was really, really <laughs> nice. Of him. Hey, what else do you say, I guess, right? Yeah, you like that cup? Excited. Yeah, you got he, he liked you like that cup? Yeah, I want to yeah. have it here in front of me so I can promote it for you. Yeah, well, I just think it's cool <laughs> because we got my little Bigfoot dude with the headphones. Where you know, remember we look alike? Look how boring that is. Yeah, that's boring. All it says is coffee. <laughs> yeah, mine has a Bigfoot with headphones and says right? Banter with Richie B podcast, and it's a great color. I think I think it's snazzy, as they say. Have you hear that word snazzy? Mm -hmm. So, Patty, what are you looking forward to this Saturday, tomorrow morning? Oh, hanging out with the boys. You guys are so much fun. And um, I'm curious to see if anything has changed since we've been out there last. Any new markers? Or um, mm -hmm. Wally and I were out there not too long ago, and there were some new breaks over the trail, uh, mm -hmm. which was kind of interesting that weren't there. So it'll be interesting to see what's changed. Um, and then, of course, pick up the recorders, and I can't wait to hear what's on them. Yeah, if anything, absolutely. You know. Yeah, right. If anything, right. So, I mean, you guys have gotten tons of stuff before in the past, and I'm yeah, anticipating so there's something there. You know, it could be a squirrel. I don't, I have no idea. You know, that's what's exciting about it. It's like opening a treasure chest, kind of like what Wojo was saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, more questions. What the hell was that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, right, right. Questions, right? Oh, yeah. That's usually what it is, right? We have more questions than answers in this absolutely. in this research field, and that's okay. I'm up for it. You know what I mean? I'm up for the challenge. I'm up for looking for it. I'm I'm. Super excited. Me and Wojo went out the other day to my property. Um, it was a kick-ass little investigation, get our feet wet, get things going. Showed Steve some really cool structures and things that we just couldn't explain. And um, So, yeah, we're pretty excited about it. Um, it's going to be fun. We're gonna, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. I might do I might do a little bit of live there, but it's going to be way in. So I don't want anybody to know where we are. It's well, not fair. I'm just looking forward so, for the cold weather because, you know, usually like when it's like really cold, do you tend to like, you know, want to walk around, build up that heat, whatever. And, Oh, yeah, I'm just right. thinking. I'm hoping point. that maybe whatever else that, that whatever is out there, um, moving around, the parts of those huts would be doing the same thing. Move yeah, I just hope it, yeah, I just hope it doesn't want to stock up on food before it hibernates because you know True. you guys are you guys are screwed because I can run faster than all of you. So good luck with that. All right, 
I'll, uh, I'll turn my I'll turn my GoPro around backwards so we can record what's happening to you. <laughs> um, if we start running, you'll probably trip me and just say, hey, yeah, go get, oh. yeah, well, Joe, oh. three minutes to a pound. We'll be here for a year, you know? <laughs> It'll be oh, easy yeah. trips. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what were you going to say? Patty, oh, what were you going to say? Back I was going to say, um, we were up there walking and I saw something run up there that was small and white. Was, it ran almost like a rabbit, but it was white. It was, while he didn't see it, it just, it was white and it had a huge, it was low to the ground. And it almost, I couldn't tell if it was a white fox or if it was a white rabbit. Cool. That's it ran awesome. so fast, but it was it's so cool fluffy. Place. And yeah. it was white, white, white. Wow. How big? And, and he said and he had no shoe hair, but. Yeah, and you had no fireballs at the time. No. No, no fireballs? No, no, no fire... I'm just no. trying to clear the palate like for everybody. So everybody understands that Miss <laughs> Patty Burke did not have fireballs when she saw a white fluffy no, thing running through the woods as fast. <laughs> How big was it, um, Patty? Because sometimes when I go hunting, I sometimes see ermines and they're like white. What are they? Ermines. Uh, what did like, you see? Those are like those weasels. Oh, like weasel, Patty like from the weasel oh. family. Yeah, oh, no, it was bigger than that. Yeah. Definitely oh, yeah. an ermine or a... Mm -hmm. That's interesting. It was rabbit size or, or small or fox, fox size. Fox size. That's yeah. pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about it. Maybe when I... I will have my GoPro on, by the way. Oh, yeah, you okay. guys are still here. I will have my GoPro on, so we'll catch... If we see something white flashing across the street, we'll check it out. Just see if it's an animal, what kind of animal it is. Have a little fun with that, too. You know what I mean? So yeah, just remain open-minded, mm -hmm. you know, about everything. We are going to bring out some charges out there so we can charge up our recorders and we're going to kind of stay in that hut area and we're going to listen to the, some of the recordings. We can't listen to all of it, obviously. There's tons of hours on there. Yeah. But we can, listen, we can listen to some of it and see what we can get while we're there and then, you know, maybe we'll bring something in. You know, I think it's a good technique that I've seen a lot used well and it works, you know. So it has in the past, anyways. Will it work Saturday? I have no idea. You know what I mean? It's worth trying. Yeah. yeah. So I'm pretty excited. You guys stoked? Yes. Stoked. 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 Oh. So, yeah. So, um, listen up. Tuesday night, seven o'clock. Whatever we get out there by the huts, we're gonna bring to you. So make sure you tune in Tuesday night at seven p.m. and get ready to talk with the Burks. And my new Bigfoot and buddy, Wojo. And we're all going to give you our mm -hmm. thoughts and opinions on it, man. And it comes from different walks of life. It's beautiful. Like, you got a hunter and things that happened to me and things that they went out and found. So, it's like different things. You know, when I had my experience with whatever, it came to me. You know what I mean? When the mm -hmm. Burks went out there and did investigations and looking for things. And Steve is always a hunter and a skeptic. So, this is a beautiful combination of humans. We have great chemistry together. We're going to dress for survival mode. We're going to bring our granolas. We're going to bring our trail mix. Make sure we're safe out fireballs. there in the woods. And they're going to bring their fireballs. <laughs> Just so you know, Rich, uh, Richie B does not drink. I'm already <laughs> whacked out. I don't need anything else, any kind of substance. As long as they enjoy themselves, they always have a designated driver. So relax, everybody. Uh -huh. Okay? <laughs> so, all right. So let's get ready to go. Tomorrow morning, we're going to see you guys. And we're going to go out and have a blast. We'll probably do some lives, like I said, here and there in a safe area. Um, and just kind of bring you guys into it. So watch for that on Facebook. I might even jump on YouTube and do a live. So make sure your ears are open, your eyes are open. And come see us Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Um, 7 p.m. on Tuesday night. That's what I was trying to say. Sorry. I got one of those brain thoughts like it's a Monday. Does anybody feel like it's a Monday, even though it's a Friday? You ever have Mon Friday? Yeah. Friday? Uh, you ever have from Monday? You know what I mean? Well, you think it's Friday and it's just Monday playing a freaking trick on you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's just brutal. Oh. So anyways, I'm still very happy. You should be happy. You should come hang out with us. Check out Banter with Richie B. Tuesday night, 7 p.m. with the Burks and Wojo. Don't miss it. It's going to be kick-ass. Say bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you. I said, I said say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. bye everybody. Jeez, these guys are all new at this shit. I guess <laughs> I kind of am, too. See you guys later. Tuesday night, 7 p.m.